Yo, what's up? Genetics here. Today we're looking at, um, we're looking at something and we're saying goodbye to something, actually. We are saying goodbye to the old MP5. Uh, sad, I know. The MP5 is getting a revamp at some point in the near future. I don't think it's this patch, but who knows. And in preparation for that revamp, the MP5 is being modified a bit already in PTR. So the damage is being upped and the recoil is also being upped. And I find that kind of sad. I haven't tried the PTR version of the MP5 yet, so you know, I can't really comment. But what I did like about this MP5, uh, dude, how's that not a kill? Give me more damage. What I did like about this MP5 was that the recoil was low and the damage was low, which contrary to what I just said asking for more damage, I think was a good thing because um, the MP5 having super low damage and super low recoil gave it a special identity, right? It made it I feel like you know an MP5. This is a gun that doesn't do a lot of damage, but is very easy to use. That's kind of the identity of the MP5. By giving it more recoil and more damage, in my eyes, it starts to blend in with other weapons. Like it's not that differentiated from an MP7 anymore. So, but so I think that's a problem, I guess, with bad businesses. If you try to make every gun as strong as one another, then all the guns will resemble one another, right? Um, you know, obviously the devs do a good job of differentiating the gun and giving them unique characteristics, but I think it, there is a place in the game for like just straight up objectively worse weapons, but that have their, their own identity, right? Uh, that being said, as I said, I did not try the, the actual PTR updates, so I might change my mind once I do. So yeah, I thought in in uh, you know in memory of the old MP5, let's play a bit with the MP5. Let's get beamed by Yasin. Oh, some trees you can shoot through, some you can't, right? That question mark. Dude, Yasin is too good. He just keeps beaming me. There's nothing I can do. The hipfire on the MP5 is uh, not the best, not the worst. It's pretty serviceable. I mean, when you're that close, any weapons hipfire is good, right? Because I guess like the pine trees, which are darker green, you can't shoot through. And then the lighter green trees, which are another type of tree. I don't know how to, I don't know what type of tree. You can uh, shoot through them. Oh, dude, incompetent player got that kill, but it was all thanks to Yasin, who lit me up. So, you know, don't get ahead of yourself, incompetent player. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, close one. Ryan Skywalker, Luke's lesser known brother. He was a very good baker, but not as cool as a Jedi Master. You know, who defeats the evil empire. But he made some pretty good muffins. Not gonna lie. Sometimes you just want good muffins, right? Sometimes it's too much to try to save the world. Sometimes you just want to eat a muffin. That's where Ryan comes in. <laughs> what am I saying? Um, yeah. I don't have much to say about the MP5 other than... Oh yeah, interesting. Hobbsit likes to say that the MP5 gives him aimbot. There's something about low recoil, high RPM weapons that make it easier to aim. I think it's because you get more uh, instant feedback. Not, not that feedback is more instant, but you get more of it. So it's easier to adjust, right? It's harder to adjust when you get feedback on a hit marker like every second. But if you get a hit marker every you know, 0.1 second, it's easier to adjust. JJ just destroying me. Doesn't want, doesn't want my KDR to go to four. Doesn't again, do my KDR. All right, victory. Seven one and ten. Not a bad game. Not a bad game. All right, and now my setup. It's a real simple setup. Coyote sight, compensator, vert grip, ground lead tape, steady shot. It's pretty much my standard setup. When there's no attachment slots, like no extra attachment slots, there's not much you can do. You could put like muzzle brake maybe. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed this video and leave a like if you did. I will see you next time. Au revoir.